Hi there, my name is Stephen Smith and I'm a staff scientist at Science North. On today's Cool Science Post, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about capacitive touchscreens. Specifically, things like iPads, iPod touches or iPhones, devices that you may have gotten over the holidays. More specifically, I want to talk to you about capacitive touchscreens and why they don't work when you've got gloves on. Or do they? Your body has a natural ability to conduct electricity. Those electrons that flow through um, our bodies, through our skin. Um, the technology uses capacitive touchscreens and the fact that humans have that natural ability to conduct electricity. And when you put an insulator on, a barrier between your skin or the touch of your finger to a capacitive touchscreen, it won't work. So when I put a glove on, I've effectively put an insulator or a barrier between my touch screen on my iPad or my iPhone, for example, and the hand that typically uses to swipe across or to double click and open an application. So with this glove on and this barrier that's there, I can no longer tap or swipe or use the touch screen technology at this point. So of course you probably know that certain metals conduct um, and so I've got a chunk of wire here and I could probably use that on my iPad let's say for example to swipe or to double click and open that up but probably not good for the surface of my iPad. Instead of using a thicker wire that can scratch the surface of my iPad or my iPhone I ordered a piece or a roll of, of thread that's called conductive thread. It also conducts but it's also very soft and the neat thing about it is is that it doesn't scratch the surface of your screen at least not to the naked eye. So let's have a closer look at conductive thread and you can see that I'm working in my lab right now and I'm using a tool called a ProScope. It's a digital microscope, it's 50 power magnification which means that we can look at things and explore things under this microscope at 50 times the magnification that the human eye can see. So for looking at things very fine and very small that we can't really see great with the naked eye, we can use this tool. This glove is insulating my hand right now. So my nice warm finger and my body's natural ability to conduct electricity and that term capacitance that I talked about a while ago doesn't work when I've got my glove on. So one of the ways that you can avoid this problem is you can use the conductive thread that I talked about earlier. So what I did is to make it practical at Science North, uh, some of the cool things that you can do are, you know, buy yourself a cheap pair of mitts, and if you'd like, you can get some conductive thread and sew it into your finger. And you'll notice now that my finger in my glove now works even though it's insulating my finger to the touch screen on the iPad it now works. I'll we'll try this a couple of times here. I'll close this down. I'm going to open up my music. So just to recap what we learned about capacitive touch screens, uh, iPads, iPod touches or iPhones, that your body has a natural ability to conduct electricity. It needs to be able to conduct that electricity and let those electrons flow freely. So using conductive thread, that thread that I used, that I sewed into my mitts, or buying a pair of conductive mitts like I've got here that I borrowed from a colleague, that conductive thread allows my finger inside the mitt to make a connection through the conductive thread between my finger and the touch screen, and it allows me to then use my iPad outside in the winter and enjoy this beautiful winter, these cold frigid temperatures in the Sudbury area and surf the web and stay warm all at the same time.